All right, so the first niche is gonna be Cousins Rowing. Okay, now something right here that I was paying attention to is I was like, why is this? I never even heard of anything like this. The summer I turned pretty. Now, when I search this, something you want to be very careful for, it's, I'm assuming it's a show, TV series. Platforms are really strict about this. And if, of course, if you don't have the rights to anything, you can get in trouble. So I don't know if it, it might even been a design before the show was up. I'm not sure, but I don't think so because this is a pretty much a newer design that was created this month and it's made its first sale on the 14th. And you can see that as soon as the design was created, if this person doesn't have the rights to it, can definitely get this design taken down in my opinion because they're leveraging you know the actual tv series and i just the only thing i did was just a google search just to you know see what's going on like if there was anything behind this design uh when it comes to anything like this it's a simple design right but this right here seems to be a tv show just wanted to kind of just put that out there I'll give you guys an understanding of you know the research idea you're coming up with different ideas you're getting excited you're seeing sales come in sales velocities come in and you're like cool i can possibly make money by doing this but research it and make sure that everything is okay so when you're seeing this design selling and you're doing your research it's selling over and over you know like if it's coming from a tv show or if they're still in design from the TV show, or if they're doing something like that, you just wanna make sure you understand the rules when it comes to creating designs for any of these platforms. All right, next niche is I got that dog in me. It shows like a, some skeletons, like this is supposed to be like the skeleton that shows pictures of, these are pit bulls, I believe these are pit bulls right here. And saying I got that dog in me. It's referring to like an, I wanna say like an athlete. It's like a slang word for that. It's like, I got that dog in me, kind of like when you accomplish something, you get something done, you score a touchdown, I got that dog in me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, that's what it's like kind of referring to and hopefully get the idea behind that. But just because I'm sharing these niches with you, it's not saying to copy these actual designs. It means to kind of get the idea like there is a demand for it okay a lot of people get confused because i'm sharing something like that you just understand that there's a demand for certain things like this create your own take a literally about a whole day just to come up with different ideas for different niches that i'm sharing with you you can definitely create a top selling design in a niche where no one is you know competing with you okay um so if we come down here we look at the all-time sales you're going to see that it sold it first time this month right july 10th and then as we go in look at it's starting to trend down and they obviously put the price at 1338 and then as it started making sales they put it at a very competitive price at 1599 and it's still cranking okay those, those bsr numbers like that those are great bsr numbers for print on demand especially with amazon merch these all this research is it's on to being done on the number one platform in the world so this can be redesign ideas for you know etsy redbubble your own uh, shopify website your own personal website it doesn't matter so i got that dog oh, give me all right, so the next issue is going to be uh, fifth grade. I like what they did here with this design. All white design. They took up that whole design space. You see that every single space, right? There's almost like, you know, there's a globe in there. There's a ruler targeting. He says right here, teacher, back to school. Back to school is like trending right now like crazy. If you didn't know, there's a lot of stuff being bought online for back to school. So you can see exactly where they're going with this. And if we come down right here, and you're gonna see that the first sale for this design was July 16th. And as we continue to go down, the BSR is starting to trend downwards, which is really cool. Being a design like this being uploaded this year, you're gonna see like coming next year, most likely this is gonna be a, another, like a top selling design because it's ranking into the algorithm. Okay, so really, really cool. Hope you understand that. Get the idea of the concept of designing 90 days out. I don't think it's gonna be too late to um, design for this niche because it's gonna come back again, again, and again, and again, and again. So. Keep that in mind. Really awesome design, real cool. I like it. All right, next niche is going to be, it's fall y'all. Basically gnomes, pumpkin, and a truck, autumn. So autumn and fall, seems like this is what they're targeting. Okay, all white text design, right? A design on an all white t-shirt. Okay, that's what I was trying to say. You got the trees, you got the leaves, you got the truck, you got the pumpkins and you got the gnomes and it says it's fall y'all nice graphic illustration right design and then if we come down right here remember the listing tells you a story too the data the information and you're going to see that it's right now from august september pretty much going all the way into october and november that it makes sales so it's making sales now so just kind of give you that idea and that concept that it's time to design for this niche now if you want to get ahead and start making sales 
this is the cool thing about, you know, understanding, you know, sales rank and BSRs and uh, designing ahead and try to get ahead of your competition. Look at last year's designs to see when they started selling this year. Okay, you can do that. And then that right there will help you get ahead and understand what's coming up and what's going to start trending pretty soon. All right, the next niche is going to be a disco turkey peacock. It's a peacock right here. And it says disco turkey, you know, the text on the bottom. Anything like this, guys, like it just works, right? People love this type of style. Now, if you think about it, standing out and being different from your competition, you know, creating like an awesome graphic and then putting text below it, any type of design, right? There's so many different ways that it can be done. Any type of design can be done in any different way. But just understanding like starting off with something that's real custom and unique as far as the graphic, you know, I've done this over the years, like many, many years now, the way that I approach going into a niche, like what kind of graphic that I can create that can be different from everyone else, catch up individuals attention by creating a cool design. So Disco Turkey, you know, obviously do a little bit more research, but the peacock niche, like I would never even thought about that unless I was doing research. I know what peacocks are, but I didn't think about that of creating a design for that niche, but this is, would be a good design and it's like targeting Thanksgiving day. Okay, I'm not sure. It's not showing the BSR. I'm not sure why, but if we come down to the very bottom right here, you're going to see it was offloaded August 26, 22, and then the BSR 645, right? And it looks like they're, you know, they're trying to go after Thanksgiving and it's crazy to think about, okay, something like this that's making sales right now and Thanksgiving is in November, right? It's pretty far out and it's making sales. Like that's something that I would think about and get on right now and start designing for it. All right, next niche is going to be no woke zone. It says election 2024. So president election, right? 2024. And there you can see President Trump, Biden, cancel culture, no woke zone, anti-Democrat. And then you can see what, what they're going on with the rest of the keywords. Now, when it comes to stuff like this, understanding what's going on in the niche is very powerful, especially with something like this coming up. I've seen designs that make crush it and make tons and tons and tons of sales. Me personally, I kind of stay out of this type of niche. I don't like to go, going into political stuff because you just have to understand it and learn it. Um, me, I'm just like, ah, I'd rather learn something else and then go do something else. Um, that's just me personally. But if I know buddies that have created designs for certain trends that are coming up, especially with like the elections, and then they create a top selling design. Now, this is just no woke zone, you can see, and then it has like a a boat right there, right? A picture of, it's a boat and it's going to have, you know, a three letter word on the shirt, all red, okay, on a black t-shirt. So you can see, you know, the colors that they put here. It seems to be like a top selling design. It's nothing too crazy, nothing out of the ordinary, but look at 717, it's made its first sell and it looks like it's going to be a top selling design from my understanding. Looking at it, it maybe have a little bit too far out, but, we shall see and see what happens and see if this one actually takes takes off and starts to make even more sales. So keep an eye on this one. Um, keep an eye on the idea. And if you're not designing for the presidential election in the U.S., um, I would definitely start learning about the niche. If you want to do something like this, you can and uh, figure out what you can do in here and create something that's pretty cool, right? There's a lot that can be done. And one thing I recommend is you can check out Twitter for doing research and, and see what designs and see what people are saying over there and look in the comments and see, okay, this person said this thing in the comments and this, can this be a t-shirt design? You know, certain sayings. Some people say some really good sayings and comments and this can be, you can put that onto a t-shirt design and turn it into a top selling design. Second grade just got cooler. Second, first day of school. And you're going to have, you know, like that S, like that coloring, the, just the letter S right there. looks like it's kind of like colored in type of style with a pencil, the apple, and some sunglasses. Now, you're going to see this is for youth only. They're targeting youth, so they only check youth on Amazon. So they don't have men's or women's checked. And the colors that they're using, obviously all darker colors. It's made for, a, you know, a little kid to wear which is really, really cool. And you see what they did implementing the Apple, implementing the sunglasses and then putting in the pencil. And if we come down here, you're going to see that this has been selling. This has been up for about two years now, right? And you're going to see like when it starts, it seems to sell. So it's been doing it consistently over the years. But if you look at the, you know, when it's sold again, you're going to see it started selling at the beginning of this month, right? And that gives you an idea when some of the, you know, top selling designs start to make sales in a niche, right? And um, some of you may, ah, that's not, it's not, the, it's not a lot, but it, everything adds up, right? So if you have two or three or four designs doing this, you know, you can easily make a hundred dollars a month from this one design, especially going into July, all of July, and then heading into August, you can see it makes a little bit more sales, but Right now, it's starting to make sales, and it's the BSR, you know, the, the, the track record is not lying because this is what it's doing, and that's what it is.
All right, next niche is life is a game. Bridge is serious. This is a bridge player card game. I wouldn't, I would never even thought about this niche unless I did research on it, which is really cool because something like this, it's like, there's all kinds of different card games, right? So now you can go into more of a, a you know, different sub niches by thinking of different card games, but you can see what they did here. They got the white and then red. They kind of made the game and serious. It's capital. It's like, it's more, it's standing out. It's red, right? I think it's just a really cool design. It's a clean design and it takes up a, a good amount of space on the design, which you can see it from the thumbnail without clicking on it, which is really, really important. And I think it's uh, that helps with the click through rate on any design. You can come in here and let's look at all time sales and see what's going on. You can see that it's made its first sell last year, but throughout the whole year, look at it's consistently selling. And one thing to pay attention to, you can see it's, it goes all the way up to 1.5 million, but then it drops down all the way up again, drops down, drops down. So it's like consistently making sales every month. And that's what you want, print on demand seller, because it starts to rank more and more and more. And then you can see as we're getting closer to Q4, right? It's gonna boom, 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 making sales, more sales. And then it's gonna, it should be doing more sales as we get closer to Q4 too as well, okay?